morning cup of coffee before I plucked Brody up. I've fed them all, so just waiting for them to eat and then it's full systems go. I've tried a different tack today and gone for lots of little ones. I don't like the top ones, they're sticking up a bit, but that's because I've banded them. Um, it's because I pulled this vein too short. Anyway, they're not looking too bad. He's all ready. Hopefully it's not raining where we're going. Oh, he's eager. The red button on the top. Here we are, back at Norton Disney. The red light's on, Justine. Huh? Huh? Well, last time he wasn't this calm in the lorry. Wild in the dressage. Wild in the dressage. Um, he looks quite chilled. He's seen the cross country. He's not really excited. <laughs> He's just, oh. It is a bit wet. We'll say that. It's a bit wet. We're not doing um, poo foil. We're not doing poo foil. But he's got lovely white socks. What was that? Lots of little plaits today. Oh, should we have a little zoom in on those? Oh. Yep. Very smart indeed. So we're getting on in about five, six minutes. Right. Perhaps we have a little pan. Pan across. That's Brody's view. Very smart, Billy Brody. Lovely white socks. Nothing to do with the groom at all. He's using blades. But before he gets muddy, I thought we'd appreciate the white socks. And his flaps, his lovely tail. They're all together looking very smart. New boots. New boots. From, oh, it's going to rain. Joshua Jones. She's still got the crocodile bit at the top. Apparently it's 18 degrees in Norfolk. I feel that here. It's a bit rainy now. Anyway, Billy Brody, Justine Ward, Norton Disney, BE 100, having a nice relaxed walk around. Unlike last year, he had his tail in the air and was PFing everywhere. <laughs> here comes the wind. Again, he's doing it. It's Pia. <laughs> he started to hot up. Let's see what happens on this corner. He's floating along. Oh. Tail goes up. But that's the me. He can do it. They've got the socks. Trying to have a nice warm up. Where's your Larry one? So um, I got very excited uh, when we got to warm up for the dressage because our arena hadn't been ridden in all morning so it looked really smooth, everything else looked chewed up. But actually 
they almost didn't use the Serena because it was so wet. So it, <laughs> whilst I was third in, so it hadn't been really churned up, it was really, really wet and quite boggy. Um, but yeah, he went down the centre line well. He'd worked in well. He was quite excited because cross country is literally just behind the hedge. And actually, where you see the judges' car, behind that hedge, there's a track. And in a minute, you'll see somebody upset to me. So this is my half 10 metre loop, which you can all appreciate I did not get to the centre line. That was shocking on my behalf. So on the whole, so here we've got to do a walk. Between three and seven, so that was all right. It was nice. So here we're meant to canter. And if you look, you can see a car coming up. And the car went straight through a puddle. Oh, you can't, did I? Am I getting blind? Anyway, it made him shoot off. Um, and I got four for that whole movement. And the judge didn't know, I don't think. It went straight through a puddle and made a big splashy noise. Um, but then some horses wouldn't have reacted. So it's not, you know, it's just one of those things. And then we go to a half 20 metre circle, free rain long walk. And he is, there you go, I've got an itch. Oh, now I've got an itch. So uh, that was a little bit naughty. And he was desperately trying to do it again. And I was desperately trying not to give him a boot in the ribs. Um, but yeah, quite nice steps. On the whole, he was working in really well outside and the trot was definitely improved. Having, after my lesson with Pepper, um, unfortunately, it's not shown to the best of ability because it was really wet. So that was a def definite um, improvement on my half 10 metre circle. I'm going to do another walk. He's just getting a little bit fiddly. Well, him or me. Good oh boy. I got some nice marks, you know, very fair comments from the judge. Um, was pretty much got sevens. I think what's stopping me from getting the higher marks is the same thing. They just think he's a little bit tight through his back. I don't think he is. I think he doesn't use his back end as much as he could. Um, but I don't think it's because he's tight. I think he's just how he is. And I'm just gradually getting more out of him all the time. And as I say, my lesson with Pippa really helped. Um, and it's just hopefully going to keep improving. And I'm coming down the centre line. <clears throat> it's nice and straight down the centre line. It wasn't the best halt. He keeps going wide behind, but he did actually step under, but we left a leg a little bit. But yeah, very pleased. Could have been better, but not too bad. Part-time group. We arrived five minutes before we left the yard. <laughs> Their dressage of 29.8. 
Next to go is 303. Billy Brody. Justin Ward. Tighten it up as much as. Yeah, clear round in the goo. Does it feel gooey? Well done. This is a much improved situation. Look at that. What? Is that on? Getting on. Hang on. I think we will be off any minute. Ten, eight, seven, oh. Here we go. Sticky the ground and part, so I hope so too quick. I just saw somebody come back who'd gone way too quick. Oh, we can't see them. Can you see that? That's Oh. 
father and of course this is Katie, Katie Molesell and Farley Edit. Oh boy. That's clear around for Billy Brody. Jumped everything lovely. Not sure he liked the ground, it's not very nice. You look good. Yep. Grooming duties because she doesn't normally. And then we've got my best friend and my goddaughter come to say hello. Some random guy, I don't know who he is. <laughs> hello, Rick. Happy birthday to Julie. Have you had a good day? Yes, lovely. And there's the Queen. <laughs> Give us a royal wave. <laughs> Norton Dizzy, um, uh, last weekend, or weekend before, I think, wasn't it? Yes. Um, flying round. Um, he looks like um, it's good. He, he jumps well on the ground. Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I didn't feel like he overly loved it, but I don't think many do. But he did cope with it, which is good to know. It never looks soft, though, does it, on the video? No, it was quite... It was quite holding, I would have said. You must have been early to go because there's not a lot of... Um, it's not pla It doesn't look like a ploughed field. Yet. No, I was third to go. Well, I was eighth to go. You look like you're showing a good, clean pair of heels. Yeah. Um, and um, there's uh, four, five, six, seven strides into that one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's... Um... Oh, here we go. That's a pretty plain fence. This is on a curve. Yeah, is the four strides to this one? Yeah. Yeah. Gosh. And here's this another one. This is the rail to a corner. Three strides to this one. One, two, three, four, and oh, four again. Um, well, it looks a lovely day. Um, so um, you're you're going up a level next, are you? Uh, I'm doing one more hundred, and then I'm going up a level. Um, he's having a bit of a break, so he's got three weeks before his next one. Oh, right. But I think he's starting to look... He's making it look easy, so, and he felt like he was... Oh, here um, we go. Jumping, and he's jumping somebody's finding house. the time very the easy. The live there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, he's ready. He looks like he's ready to go up now, doesn't he? I'd say so, yeah. Well, what hap how much bigger are they? Uh, they're bigger. They're... they're do I have to take any insurance out on your life? No, you they're bigger and they are um, a bit more technical. Oh, my God. How do you mean technical? Well, more narrow, more questions. Surely a jump is and a jump. And now realising that I was going a little bit quick, so I oh. start to slow up. Oh, well. It's better to be quick than slow, isn't it? It is when you're ready to yeah. step up a level. Yeah. Looks quite good fun. What was your underlying thought when you pulled up? Thank God I finished, or...? No, I thought that he... I, I was pleased that how he coped on the ground, because it wasn't... You know, they'd done an amazing job, but it wasn't lovely ground. Was there a good pizza van now or something? Uh, Supergroom had pizza, yeah. Looking, I didn't... Nanny had pizza. You were looking for... What were and you Maddie doing? came to help, which was nice. Yeah. And I had a crepe. Oh, very good. He's a good boy. Oh, well, never mind. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. It's the morning after the day before. He was a very good boy yesterday. Quick check of his legs, all feel great. And then he has to die out in the field. And I may take his rug off so he can have a proper roll. If he's a lucky boy. Yeah, you're a good boy. So I thought I'd give you a, a, a little bit of an extended video with a little brief interlude about what else goes on around here. The hounds are on holiday. This is a video, actually, it looks like a photograph but they are having a snooze in the sun. They're now on holiday. Still get exercised oh, every day. Right. As do the horses. Posh and Sufi here. Sufi is about to go out with uh, Mazette. This is a clip of uh, Ember. Ember's been to stay because I asked Lucy if Charlie could have a go at getting Emma to settle in his canter work. Lucy struggles with containing him because he is very strong and he wants to go flat out all the time and 
Charlie's a very experienced jockey. He's raced with him a lot. Um, and he's very, very good at getting horses to settle, especially strong ones. He's very quiet with them. Um, and my old horse, the bullet that I did Burley on, was incredibly strong, and Charlie really helped me with him. Bullet's very like Ember, a bit quirky, was. Um, so he's been cantering Ember sort of every other day, and it's really starting to work. And I just hope that it then will help Lucy able to be a bit more competitive across the country because at the moment she has to really contain him and keep him slow because if she lets him go he just bugs off so yeah it's starting to work I think it will help a lot um as I say Charlie is amazing obviously he's not nice, but he's still amazing My master plan. Oh, is it? Don't you enjoy your holiday? Shoes off. This is a brief clip of Lucy. We went to a hunter trial. Um, much better. She was able to go in much more of a rhythm. Um, and he was six. He went really well. She did a good job. Um, this is just a brief clip of him jumping. There were four hedges actually on a like a snake, but he went really, really well. Very pleased. So pleased with that? I'm crying, I'm oh, so pleased. It was good, it was so much better, wasn't it? Very good. Once you all settled. We'll have a cup of tea and the lorry where. What, were you less out of breath? Well, yeah. <laughs> Someone's flying a photo of a very successful day. This is what food does for Brody coming in. Because I've got a bucket. <laughs> well, this is another day of Charlie on Ember doing a bit of uh, more canter work, different different field. Um, he's coming up the hill. And um, We've got we've got a different bit in. We've gone to the his show jumping bit, so a milder bit because he's starting to really settle. So the plan is that ultimately, long term, Lucy will be able to go cross country in this milder bit. At the moment, she needs the the, the slightly stronger bit. This is the first time round. You can see he's a little bit unsettled still. He's he's slightly fighting, wanting to go a bit quicker. And Charlie's just really sitting quietly. Um, just he's bridged his reins and he's just trying to get him to relax. And this is the second time round. Um, and he's actually going a little bit quicker. And Ember is really starting to settle. Um, and just you know going in more of a normal outline rather than lifting his head and trying to go really quick he's just settling into it Charlie's able here to just give him a pat take his hand off the rein and he's just settling so really pleased <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jump 
water jump with super crew. 16 clear, 16 AB. We've only had one fall so far. 17 clear, okay. one. There's Super Groom. Hard at work at the station. Yeah, exactly. 18 clear. 18 clear, 6. 29 clear, 20 AB. 20. Here we are, hard at work, in the woods. Um, at the Burner Market Horse Trials. Jump judging, jump number 14 with Miss Justine Ward, who is a whistleblower. <laughs> In a moment, you'll see the, the, the routine. Here we go. Is there a horse coming? Not yet. Oh, hang on. We'll start again in a minute. Uh, the course designer asked us to put a pebble into the water just before the horse has got there um, because the sunlight was shining on the water and they wanted a bit of movement, so it helps the horses read it. So that's why we're throwing in the pebble, just to give a little bit of movement on the water. Throw a pebble. And the ripples. To make some ripples. This is the world champion. And then, do that again. Oh no, pretend. Reports on the radio after the horse is gone. This is, this is the other duty. Draping. But she's got to do lots of. At home? She get the lawn perfect for Tilly's party. <laughs> and keeping the, hello, ground. Very important. Nice and even. This is, Come back. Okay. This is the series of events. One. First of all, we blow the whistle. One. So, to let everybody know that there's a horse coming. And then. Clear the course. Clear ten. Clear three. Clear so I blow the whistle. Then I put my arm up. And then just. Shows a pebble and time. 64 running clear 1980. 62 clear 14. And she writes down the time. Why'd you write down the time, Jess? I don't know. Oh. Because <laughs> we actually last time. No, to say that, you know. <laughs> Where's Holly and her mum? We're not sure if we're meant to. And then. 55 clear. Jess is about to throw a pebble. Fifty-five clear fourteen. Testing the radio check. This is our fence for the full stop. Wrong radio check. Twenty-one, Laura. Thanks, Laura. Control fence twenty-two radio check. Have a good day. Dave at twenty-two in twelve. Twenty-one, Laura. Control fence twenty-two in twelve. One five seven clear at thirteen A and B. One eight seven clear nineteen. Question for you. Well, I'm not speaking to you. But how would Brody and you approach this fence? Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know because I've not. One eight five clear nineteen. 
have yet to jump a big log directly into water. Have you not done that? Well, no, because at 100 you don't. You either jump a fence before, you don't really jump. Uh, so I don't know. Does he like the water? Oh, touch wood, he doesn't seem to mind. So far, he does land quite steep, so... Two zero three, clear at two. So you'd have to One eight five, clear twenty. Five, clear, it's a nice fence, isn't it? It's jumping well. Yes, it is jumping well. Two zero three, clear three. There's, there's some different approach to riding. It depends. This, we've seen some, haven't we? Not really take a pull and really attacking, but they clearly know their horse. Two zero three, clear four. I think hole. a lot of people fiddling a bit too much because maybe they're. Yes, I, I wonder whether they're fiddling because the distance two, is a zero, little bit, three, clear, and then they're, they're wanting to get the four. Mm. But that's watching it that's a bit of a, an error because the horses are still trying to go on the three aren't they they are it depends how they come up the bank i think if they come forward they they're making the three lovely aren't they oh. two one six clear six oh, two eleven clear We've been interrupted by the horse, horse trials organiser has come to check up on our work. She's writing little notes. Justine and Jess, very experienced judges. Very good. And Nate wants to do the big water jump next time. Yeah, sure we do. All the questions. Thank you both very much. Not yet. We're nearly finished. We are. We've got one more competitor. One more fucking blow of the whistle. Two, six, three, clear, ten, direct. Two, six, two, clear, seven, clear. I've had that whistle in my ear. Stop it. She's waiting for her thank you. We need to get her. No matter what she's going to say in response. Welcome. It was very good yesterday. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Um, if you did, give me a like, leave me a comment, spread it the word far and wide. <clears throat> Say bye bye, Ernie. Bye bye.